Welcome back, everyone. This is Thomas Triple T Tai with another new bullish crypto analysis. Before we dig in and take a look at the NEAR protocols weekly analysis, remember this is for entertainment only and not to be considered as financial advice. Additionally, if you want to help promote the analysis, these simple analysis for others so that they can uh, be more informed to make better decisions, uh, please smash the like, share my. Uh, uh, ring my bell, hit subscribe if you haven't, and uh, leave your comments in the comment section. That helps YouTube's uh, algorithm, and also um, it just it's it's nice because it's spent I spent about two hours on each video, and so uh, it, it takes you less than a minute to to do those things. So please to, uh, consider doing that. Um, so with that, let's um, we're gonna skip the news because there wasn't a lot of news about um, near protocol in the last seven days. And we'll get right to the uh, the charts. Here's the uh, a snapshot of the uh, crypto market, um, pretty blood red. Um, so, not much to say here. Uh, so, we we'll go to the next one. Market cap for near protocol uh, in the uh, 24 hour period, it's down. Seven day period, it's down. Uh, however, it's still up in the uh, 30, 60, and 90 days. So that's good. Market uh, cap is uh, roughly around $9.67 billion. And um, and this one near actually dropped two positions. It was 17 last week, and it dropped to 19 uh, this week. So let's take a look at the um, trading view weekly chart here. You can see near... Uh, um, Let's start with what I said last week first. Last week I said that near uh, near protocol would likely uh, break the fifteen dollars support. This is the red line here. Break the fifteen dollars support um, has a better chance of breaking that than to go back up to the uh, um, to this resistance up here, which is around nineteen fifty or so. So and it did do that. It uh, this is the fourth bearish descending weekly candle and the previous three have really long top wicks that just means bearish pressure pushing down sell pressure pushing down so it closed lower than it would have been high so it was um well yeah the um sorry the um yeah just a lot of pressure uh, I'm so tired. I, it's, it's my last video. I, I want to get that, this thing done and I'm just like not thinking correctly sometimes. But yeah, a lot of bearish pressure pushing down. So no surprise that this candle here, the current candle, this is the candle that I was going to do. But this candle printed because it's evening time in the Pacific Standard Time. Anyways, the current candle dropped and touching the ascending triangle support. That's very bearish. And I mentioned that in last week's uh, video that it is likely to uh, touch, uh, get he near the uh, ascending triangle support. Uh, so, and it is here. I thought it would take a little bit more, take a look, like maybe a couple weeks, but uh, nope, it's here. Um, so breaking this would be, uh, breaking the ascending triangle support would be very bearish. Uh, however, um, Currently, it's still in the bullish territory because it's above the bull market support band, this gray ribbon here. And that gray ribbon uh, is has a price range of $12.93 to $12.48. And that's right around this area here. And uh, near still above that right now. That uh, Additionally, the Bollinger Band, the uh, middle basis line here, this blue line, is shared with the bull market support band here, and that middle basis line is um, twelve ninety three, so it's still above that. So overall, pretty uh, still bullish, though it's trending down. It's still bullish in the territory. Uh, down. Let's see what else. Uh, the nearest resistance will be the one dollar. Uh, the nearest resistance will be fifteen dollars. The uh, nearest uh, support level will be uh, thirteen fifty, right there. It'll chop between there. If it breaks the thirteen fifty, that's that's not good, because uh, if it breaks thirteen fifty, then it'll head towards the bull market support band. If it breaks that, that's extremely bearish. As far as volume, the highest level traded volume for the price level 
is around uh, $10.68, this red line here. And um, volume on the daily, it's, oh, and the volume for the current level, it's, it's, it's in the small, low volume range. Uh, medium would be right here, right here, but it's in the small range and heading to a smaller volume price level. Daily volume, uh, as you can see here, um, it's di diminishing. And last week, it dropped below the moving average. And this week, it's starting out really low, too. KDJ, the white J line, turned it down and almost touching the blue K and the red D lines. And registering at uh, 63. And uh, I gave that a bear. And as far as range, it just it dropped below the start of the upper range, which is 80. So it's just below that uh, start of the upper range. As far as the uh, MACD, white, the white MACD line curved the local top. It's slightly trending down, somewhat horizontal, but slightly down, heading towards the ascending red signal line. Uh, the white MACD is registered at 1.58. And although it's printing bullish white histogram bars here, it looks like it's gonna cross down at any time, so I'm gonna sit, I'm gonna give this a bearish a trend. It's a bearish trend, but it's still bullish in um, the MACD pattern. So just keep that in mind. As far as the um, uh, RSI and blue uh, cumulative volume delta CVD, they're both trending down. Here's uh, the cumulative volume delta trending down, but it's also leveling off here. And the RSI is trending down here. RSI is at uh, 56, just up still above the um, mid range of 50. And uh, the blue CVD is at uh, 500, 571 million. So, uh, and I gave that one a bear and a crab because it's dropping, but crabbing sideways somewhat. The white momentum indicator, it's increasing for the second week in a row. Um, however, that's that's bearish momentum. So <laughs> just because momentum is in, uh, increasing doesn't mean it's bullish. It's just bearish momentum. It could be both, but you got to decide based on the various other patterns. And the mom is currently at five. And as far as the range, it's still on the upper uh, upper range because um, here's the here's the upper range here, and that was uh, mom was at nine nine point eight. Here's the bottom of the range. Mom was at negative 6.94 so it's still in the upper range of uh, for a mom uh, and also the uh, blue C cvd is still in, in the upper range uh, and uh, rsi like i mentioned it's uh, near the uh, near the middle of its range so overall if you take a look at this um, combine all these indicators together it's bearish it's more bearish than it is bullish it's, it's bearish so i gave that a crab because it's going to chop sideways um, between uh, $15 and 1350 here and um, it's got bearish pressure pushing down so likely it's gonna break some support down here as far as entry levels um, it's almost to the uh, my entry level here at 1350 which is FOMO at 10% of your of the budget and um, $12 will be 10% of the budget uh, $11 10% of the budget $10 will be uh, the sweet spot at 30% and nine dollars twenty percent, eight dollars ten percent, six dollars and fifty cents, uh, another ten percent. And this that's not financial advice; it's for entertainment only. And so I hope that helps. Let's check out some other charts and uh, let's see. Total value locked. And if you don't know what that is, total value locked is the amount of money that's locked in the uh, ecosystem, especially DeFi's and or staking. Uh, so, so the more the better. And uh, if you look at near protocol here, the um, one day, seven day, and one month change all positive. One of the the uh, one of the two that are positive on this uh, top twenty, uh, Binance um, BN, BSC Binance Smart Chain is the other one that's uh, green across the board. Total total value locked is currently at one point six eight billion dollars, and market cap to TVL the lower ratio the better. Is at 5.93, and this got better. It was higher, and it got lower, which which is good. Let's take a look at the de detail graph here. One of the few coins that actually is increasing in TVL. 
other ones that I review, typically the in the middle here somewhere, they're at their peak and they're dropping down. Near is doing the opposite. Here's the uh, heat map for uh, a near. Uh, here's a zoomed in view so you can see some spoof walls on top, keeping price from uh, going up further and buy, uh, buy spoof walls from the bottom here, keeping price from dropping further. And um, currently the trend is aggressive sells. You can see here it's almost maxed out on the meter here. This is neutral and it's swinging all the way down towards um, aggressive max sells here. And aggressive, that just means that it's market sells, not limit sells. Limit sells are when you set a price and you wait for it to get executed. Market is, uh, I'm gonna sell at market price, whatever it is right now. Let's zoom out on the heat map and see um, the uh, buy levels on top and sell levels on the bottom. Big giant sell wall at $20 and uh, a couple below that. Um, but I'm, I'll focus on the red and green uh, and orange ones. $17.50, $17. Not much else below that. As far as buy walls, we got a really big one here at 13 and it's, no, it's a small one at 12 and a small one at, um, $10, at $10. But way below this, there's some big ones at uh, $2. But we're not even near there, so I'm not going to sh show that because I wanted to keep this video short. Let's go to the uh, liquidation levels map. Uh, cumulative liquidation delta is currently uh, excess short here. What that means is the amount of money in the high leverage, 20 to 100 uh, X leverage for shorts here, all the money in here for uh, open interest minus the open interest or the money in the long levels here. The difference is this, and it's pretty small. And so um, this kind of uh, pr difference in price it's not going to swing the, uh, it's not going to influence someone to, uh, it's unlikely to influence someone to whales or smart money to take um, a high leverage, long position, counter position to influence price on the spot market to drive up. Most of the movements right now is from the uh, macro environment. So, yeah. And we're back at the beginning. I appreciate your time. This is my three of three videos today and I'm super tired, burnt, and I can't wait to be done. So I'll see you in the uh, video, uh, in the next video tomorrow. And I appreciate your time. Uh, please, please share my videos, smash the like, ring my bell, hit subscribe if you haven't. And uh, so that um, uh, YouTube can promote my videos. So other, especially beginners, can be more informed to make better decisions. I appreciate your time. Peace.